Hi everyone, here we are today. We're at the Funday Trail, not to be confused with the Funday National Park. In behind me, this is the Big Salmon River. It's not very big today. We haven't had that much rain, so there isn't that much flow. Uh, we're gonna go in here today, see what we can find. Hopefully we can find a salmon. Thanks for watching. Fry, smolt, par, fry, fry par, par, smolt, smolt grills, grills, salmon, adult salmon. Yeah, cool. So the last time I was here was in grade five. They brought us here on a school trip, and this suspension bridge was as far as the trail went. This bridge here didn't exist. They told us it was going to be years until this trail was completed. So the trail starts in St. Martin's. Right now, you can go from St. Martin's through the trail to about Sussex. But what they're hoping is that someday they're gonna have this trail link up to Funday National Park. Beautiful area. So this is the first hole. A lot of people like to come here, swim down here. We're actually gonna continue on and go past to more holes farther up river. So here's a good little educational sign. It tells you about the life cycle of the uh, Atlantic salmon. So the difference between the Atlantic salmon and a Pacific salmon is the Atlantic salmon will actually return to this river multiple times and it will spawn multiple times. Whereas a Pacific salmon will come into the river, uh, metamorphosize and spawn one time and then die. James Cat actually had a lot to do with reestablishing the salmon run here in this river, and apparently he died while fishing on this river. So at least he died doing what he loved. Little snake. So this behind me is the first pool that we're going to check out. The issue with having water levels this low is one, the water is going to warm up. There's gonna be less oxygen in the water. So the salmon is gonna have a much harder time breathing and fighting its way up river. So it's going to then become stuck in some of these pools. So all the way from the ocean up to the end of this river, you may have salmon that have been come trapped inside of these pools and they're just waiting for the next time that there's a big rainstorm and they're gonna to continue to move up and then they can spawn, stay there for a while and then go back to the sea. So we're gonna go into this one, see what we can find. So unfortunately in this first pool, uh, we didn't find any fish whatsoever. Uh, near the bottom, it's about 10 to 12 feet deep. And even there, the water temperature is maybe 65 degrees to 70 degrees. Near the surface, it's even warmer. Those fish would prefer colder water. I thought this would be a good location because it was uh, in the shade, but unfortunately there's nothing. So we're gonna go try another pool now. So that's a baby American eel. Uh, they spawn out in the ocean and then as babies they come back up these rivers. They grow up and then they go back to the ocean to breed. Now we're going to check out this pool.
So we found a trout, and the other one is uh, baby salmon. So there are salmon in this river. So in this pool here, we found some trout and some baby salmon. Those baby salmon, they are in the par stage in their life cycle. So that whiter fish, that's called a par. So this is our next pool. It's a long pool. So that's the first salmon smolt that we saw today. So he's a little bit bigger than the par. This is a pretty beautiful spot. Water looks deep. And it's quite wide. There's some more salmon in here.
This is a great swimming spot. It's not a very good place for jumping because you're just gonna land on that ledge. So there's basically only one spot to really go in and it's right here. So that's it for us here at the Fundy Trail and the Big Salmon River. We saw one large salmon and a bunch of smaller salmon, so it's good to see that they're still coming to this river and spawning. Uh, this is a great place to swim. Uh, thanks for watching. Isle out, Nova Scotia. This is a flower pot rock. Martin Head's just down there, the last, around that last corner. This is actually a really cool spot. That's a lot bigger than I thought it was, so I like that.